Losing something we love or someone who is dear to us can cause us a lot of pain. To accept the loss and overcome the pain, we often go through five stages of grief. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and finally acceptance. First comes denial. When we experience a loss, we feel shocked and numb and then simply deny what happened. The refusal to accept the truth temporarily protects us from all the negative thoughts and consequences of the tragedy. Denial gives us a bit of room to breathe. Then comes anger. We feel furious and resentful, often blaming ourselves or others for the catastrophe. Anger shields us from pain. We feel less vulnerable and more in control of the situation. Then there is bargaining. It is an attempt to regain control and negotiate the reality of the loss. We try to make promises or seek outside solutions to somehow reverse the irreversible. When the loss sinks in, depression follows. We go through feelings of sadness and despair. We withdraw from others. As we face reality, depression can help us process our grief. Healing can begin. Lastly, there is acceptance. We come to terms with what has happened. This does not mean we forget, but we find a way to integrate the loss into our life. We may now honor the memories of those who have departed and look ahead, knowing that after all, life goes on. Getting to acceptance, however, does not mean it is over. Grief is a complex emotional response to loss, particularly the loss of someone we love or something deeply meaningful, like a job. This process is unique to each of us and is not always linear. Often, we cycle back, revisit stages, or experience some entirely new emotions. Sometimes it can feel like we are regressing, but with the support of others and each new day, time will help heal our wounds. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, a psychiatrist who supported those facing their own death, observed the five stages in the 1960s. She later wrote, The most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way out of the depths. What do you think? Have you ever experienced a significant loss in life? And if so, did you go through these five stages or did you take another path to deal with it? Please share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. If you found this helpful, check out our other videos and subscribe. If you want to support our work, join us on patreon.com sprouts. For more information and additional content, visit sproutschools.com.